why is your holiday outfit what they give dogs after they get groomed? Okay, well, Annie, what does this tag say? It says, oh my gosh, she's making me. It says, our, a dog, a doggy go. That's because I couldn't find Sorry. a Christmas outfit today and I'm wearing <laughs> my dog scarf. Dog. I was like, this you know what? This is how codependent this bitch is. She even <laughs> shares clothes with her dog. <gasps> well, no, because I was like, I got the memo or the reminder yesterday to be like, hey, it's a Christmas themed episode. I'm like, oh, shit. So I was like, let's go full um, Christmas cowgirl, but I didn't have the scarf, so I ripped this off my dog's neck. We all look bleeding. like we're at extremely different holiday parties. Wait, but can I say <laughs> that I am also um, Western Christmas? No. Oh. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> what is with... I'm oh. hybrid. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash trash Tuesday. If you go to getquip.com slash trash Tuesday right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush or mint and gum dispenser. Plus, listeners of the show will get an exclusive 20% off discount on the Chantel Martin Collection Bundle. It's 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or the Chantel Martin Bundle at getquip.com slash trash Tuesday. Spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash trash Tuesday. Quip, the good habits company. Slugs, happy holidays. I have just a few more dates left on my tour. January 7th is my rescheduled show in San Jose. January 18th, I'll be in Portland. And just announced January 26th, I'll be in Seattle. Get tickets at srnice.com. I cannot wait to share this immature girl with you guys. I'll see you there. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy all those things. I am so excited. This Thursday, I am at the Comedy Store with another Annie Wood and Friends, December 21st. I have Johnny Pemberton. Um, Josh Potter and Bobby Lee. It's going to be so fun. Then you can see me in January. I'm going to Edmonton, um, Alberta. I'm going to Jacksonville, Florida, January 19th and 20th. I'm going to be again in Anywood at another Anywood at the Comedy Store. Then I'll be in Denver, Colorado in February and in Vancouver. And in March, I'll be in Washington, D.C. I'm adding so many more shows. So go to AnnieLetterman.com slash shows to see them. I love performing for you. I love meeting you guys. I can't wait. I would never have considered Western Christmas. Well, your what is yours? <laughs> Mine is <laughs> pajama holiday. That's how we do it in my family. Well, this is like opening presents. Yeah. This is like trying to get knocked up to match Esther. In my <laughs> my family is so lazy. It, every year is um, pajama. Do you guys all have matching pajamas? No, we just oh. come in pajamas. It doesn't even need to be Christmas themed pajamas. It's just pajamas. That always teases my mom because she just is constantly in pajamas. Oh. When she's walking around the house, she's like, there she goes, the boy in the striped pajamas. Because <laughs> no. she wears like the old school ones with the actual like stripes down, like the very, you know what I mean? My mom and dad both wear nightgowns. Okay. Wow. Okay. Both of them wear nightgowns. So if we were to do a Christmas in our pajamas, I'm seeing my dad's dick and balls. An old man in a nightgown it's, rules. But he wears like a, he has a Coca Cola one. And then there, and it comes with like a hat, but he doesn't wear the hat. Like my dad is nightgown. That's a, your forward. dad is a Christmas decoration. Like my every dad's a Christmas decoration. Home should have an old man and in a nightgown. And he has the jingle balls. Wait, See, now so. my dad used to wear this thing not for Christmas, but every day around the house, this thing called a, I think they're called galabias or jellabias. But my dad's family, um, he spent a good amount of time in Egypt. So it's like, you know, just the one long, dark like a garb. Oh no, like a like a long sleeve. Like a garb. Yeah. Um, and that's just what he was. He like looked like a wizard all year long <laughs> around the house. Was he wearing a pointy hat? <laughs> He was. <laughs> my, yeah, and my mom is, like, so annoying with everything. Like, she's like, if you get her a, a nightgown, it has to be, like, 100% cotton. There can't be, like, any other thing. And so you're like, oh, she's always got, like, a Tweety Bird or something because it's, like, the ones that come is 100% cotton. Wait, why, though? What's, like, the... She's just, everything itches her, everything oh, bothers her. Okay. She's a little bit like someone I know. Well, I was going to say 100% cotton is, like, the better version but polyester does feel like it's softer do you know what she does wear is her nightgown which is actually so cute is when we used to hang out with whitney all the time over the pandemic and whitney made the 
Whitney Camp shirts. Oh yeah, she wears like an oversized Whitney Camp shirt. Which Wait, is my so mom cute. wears a ton of Whitney merch too. Our moms don't like us. They like <laughs> they're using us to get to Whitney, like everyone else in our lives. <laughs> Wait, By the way, Stella... my mom wears all of your merch, so oh, and buys it. Wait, so we had like a little check in, Kalila. Um, let me see. Um, I feel anxious, and I don't know why. Do you and feel anxious, like biting like... someone? <laughs> Why? Because of, of your the, dog scarf. Your... <laughs> I'm channeling. Oh my Julio. god, she's like Benji. She's gonna start turning into the dog, the movie Benji. <laughs> um, I um, I'm really proud of you that you noticed that this was my dog scarf. Actually, now I feel anxious. You know, like those days where you are just sweating and maybe your body's operating at a level like that's not connecting to any like thoughts in your head. So I came here, I was driving here and I was sweating. And I Isn't didn't know it why. weird when you feel, yeah, you feel anxiety and then you have to do like a scan of your life. I usually I'm on Adderall when a it happens. A scan of your life. I go life. like, you know, seriously, like you're like, <laughs> I'm feeling anxious. Is, did I do something? And then I'm like, oh, I took Adderall. Yeah. And I think it's because Speaking. I had a nocturnal panic attack last night. Mm. And I'm always like, is this a nocturnal panic attack or is this my heart condition kicking off again? So it's Which always then like gives that you the panic attack. And then it spirals into a panic attack and I was alone and I haven't been in the ER in over a year, which I'm really proud of. You went? No, no, I didn't. I like sat down and I calmed myself down. I didn't know where I was. I was like sweating. It was just, it's a scary thing. And I think that's why I'm anxious today, but I'm hopeful that the day will turn around. Okay, just heads up. I'm great in emergency rooms and I'm up all night. I would go with you. But her Thank point you. is that she hasn't gone in a year and she doesn't want to go. But I'm just yeah. like, if she needs someone to go. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm holding my, my cause I have, um, I carry a ton of It's the beta blocker in case. Um, and I'll do all the things like I'll put ice on my face and do all of the things but I sit there and I'm like at what point is my heart rate going to go down or is it just going to speed up and you're always like oh, should I wake Jules up should I sound the alarm mm. and then finally it settled back and I was able to go back to sleep but those nights are not easy for me those are my feelings today Stella. Do you have any like emergency like panic attack 911 like for me it would be like a if I'm having like something serious like for example, when I was like having weed, if I took too much, half a Xanax, everything's fine. Yeah. Do you have like some kind of em emergency tablet for that or is that like a beta blocker for you? Um, but the beta blocker is basically to bring down because I have um, an arrhythmia. So mm -hmm. it just takes down my heart rate because it'll shoot up to 200. Is easy. it like propranolol? Uh, like similar, yeah. yeah. Propanolol is a beta blocker too. We learned about those in acting class because like our <laughs> yes. acting teacher would say... If you get nervous for auditions, take a beta blocker. Yeah. You will yeah. not, and it literally works. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I have my show at the comedy store tonight, so I'm excited about that. It's headlining post pregnancy being public, is there's still like a little pieces, pieces of the puzzle that I'm figuring out order wise. So I kind of have to work on that this afternoon. Um, but I'm overall excited. Like I have some new material. I'm like just excited to share. I think that's like it for how do you I'm feeling feel as, today. Do you feel as though like your creative juices are flowing more now that you're pregnant? Yeah. And I think it, I don't know if it is because I'm pregnant or if it's because the three months I spent completely useless, miserable, sick first trimester in bed, shut out from the world. Being out of that slowly, I'm like, let's go. Like, I just feel like a hunger for every little element of life. I'm like, oh my God, I want to like, just take a daily walk. Just like, I just am so, or catch up with a friend, like every little thing. Like, even when I'm coming here, I'm like, oh, something different, something exciting. I, I just really am. And I don't know, hopefully that will last or probably everything is going to change. I, I, there's no predicting what will happen. But. I know it's weird that you have to, it's almost like topical jokes that you're doing because you're going to not be pregnant at some point. Oh, for that? Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't even think about that. But I meant everything's going to change. Like, oh, I hope I keep this enthusiasm. But like in three months, the pregnancy might suck again. Yeah. And then in three months after that, I'm going to have a baby. And who knows? I might just be only enthusiastic about my baby. But yeah, no, I definitely... I'm excited about the pregnancy material, though. You're going to have even, so much, like, stuff, too, after the baby's born, too. You know? I didn't even think that – the I never even considered in this moment that I wouldn't be pregnant one day. Like <laughs> You're taking it day by day. <laughs> yeah. You're in the moment. Yeah. Well, um, Annie, how about how are you today? 
I'm doing good. I got a spray tan. I drove two hours to get a spray tan last night. Where? Oh, why? And I where? go because my girl was busy. She was, you know, I was in between Selena Gomez and Miley Cyrus, so I had to get there. And um, it's no big deal. But I do have hyperhidrosis, so the armpits are always white. We're going to go and see Dr. Cohen. And then my spray tan's going to roll. But I did yoga this morning, and they were like, let's do everything against the wall. And so I was doing, like, these back poses against the wall, and I left, like, all this spray tan. Just, like, the form of my back, just with my sports bra not there, is just on my the wall forever. <laughs> I forgot to clean it. My bad. But, yeah, no, I woke up. I've been listening to a new meditation that's, like, really makes me, like, buzz in the morning. So it's been, like, keeping me really high vibes. And then I went to a really cool yoga class. The, I, I, the place that I go to, which I will never mention, they're very cool. It's, like, a different – it's weird yoga. It's, like, every class is really different. So it's, like, fun. I get out of my head. I can't, like, expect what's going to happen. I don't know. I just feel really excited about that. I woke up at 7 to find this. I'm just in awe of how many costumes you have, but how <laughs> every time we have a theme, you find it. Yeah, I, well, I got up early for it because I was like, otherwise I was just going to wear like red pants. No offense. <laughs> 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 but I just like, I don't know. I've always kept this because I know it's going to be Christmas again. You're going to know I really feel like shit about myself when I stop wearing this. Is it from the holiday yeah, episode last year? Hawaii. I saw No, mine. it's from Hawaii. Oh, yeah. Oh. I do it every year. Wait, Wait I Annie, just Annie, one second. Mine. Sorry. I think you're nipping. No, it's kind of just... No, 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 just Oh, that. actual nipple? Yeah, I'm showing my chicken cutlets. You know, I show my dents. I show my tracks. One of my biggest traumas in my life is my chicken cutlet falling out from underneath my bra at a, on a dance floor. And I mean, then I my think friend that's... picking it up and being like, your titties, girl, your titties. <laughs> okay, I would 100% be that friend. Yeah. And to me, that would be one of my favorite memories. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, when I was a go-go dancer, I used to wear them and I would be sweating and they would like slide up <laughs> and people would be like, your titty thing showing. People would be like, mm. your chicken cutlet. And they all thought I was transgender or a drag queen because there was one drag queen that danced with me and they would like, and she would duct tape her. Mm. Well, he, she wouldn't play he, but duct tape. And some people were like, do you have duct tape? It's the shoulders, the mustache, the voice. How are we all feeling about our holiday plans like what are we doing what are we excited about have what you are we decorated not? yet i personally don't dabble in decorating i thought you were gonna go full force this christmas this is her full force <laughs> <laughs> it's her full force i bought these holiday themed pajama pants at old navy what are Wait, you talking about i have about? a question right. why did you make the trailers <laughs> <laughs> these were the only ones they had left in my size for maternity but then they looked I like patterned, like yeah. really obvious. Dorky. By maternity, do you mean kid section? Because those <laughs> are still very tiny. Oh my god, it's the teen pregnancy section. <laughs> <laughs> teen maternity, maternity. But like, okay, no, I haven't decorated. But I do think once we have a kid, like that's when I'm gonna really invest in getting them to do it for you. <laughs> yeah, in like going full. The like I remember Trisha Paytas like. On, on October 1st, she's like, we're doing Halloween themed stuff every day. I was like, Dave, that's going to be us. You don't understand. But I'm really excited for my holiday plans because I'm doing a long trip home. And How long is long? Like 10 days. Do you and Dave always spend Christmas together? Not always. No, but he's coming with me for part of the trip. And then my childhood best friend will be there. And we're going to go to the new Cosmics um, <laughs> in Bolingbrook, Illinois. And I'm just like excited to... I hope it snows. I want to listen to Christmas music. I want to go shopping after Christmas at for sales, like at the mm. mall. I just want to be like low key, basic as as basic as I can be, and I'm like looking forward to that a lot. Yeah, it's it feels almost like sad. High school it's not sad at all. That sounds so cozy but it's sad and delicious. How much I need it. <laughs> no, it's good. You're about to have a very different yeah. life. So it makes Wait, sense. tell me about your guys' holiday plans. I've already decorated the exterior <gasps> of my home, but what? not like my sister does. Like my sister goes like full like Clark Griswold, right? Like she is with all the lights and all the reindeers and the, and the inflatables. She does all of that. I kept it chic this year. I just have some um, lights hanging outside my window. I have a wreath. And then I didn't want to get the tree yet because I felt like it was going to dry out by Christmas and give me allergies. So I'm getting the tree <laughs> tomorrow. And um, I'm going to be spending it with my family. We do it Filipino style. We order Filipino food. We play parlor games. You and order. So no, there's no cooking. Some cooking. It's half and half. Cool. But things like crispy pata and stuff, like it's they're harder to cook, so we just mm. order it. And then I don't quite um, know what that is, but I want it. It's like deep fried. Uh, it's pork. Do you eat pork? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Settle. <laughs> Stay. If you, if you Google crispy pata, I feel like Annie might come. I want it. <laughs> and um, 
Esther, squeeze my fake nipple. <laughs> <laughs> so it's in LA, your Christmas. Uh, yeah, um, I'm going to spend half of it, or right before Christmas, I'm going to be in Hawaii with my friends and loved ones. And then I come back right before Christmas to hang out with my friends and loved ones here. Oh, cute. Yeah. And um, that's crispy pata, Annie. You had it at my party. I was eating flan, bitch. I was eating flan. <laughs> Kalila had a flan this big. No, it was really this big. It was yeah. literally this big. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, Did you make that flan? No, no, no. Okay. Some, um, it was my friend's coworker. It was just a random lady. It wasn't even from a shop. That's so She was crazy. just like, let's make the biggest flan <laughs> in the world. The thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it was, was this big. And do you do Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Christmas or Eve. Christmas Eve. Same. Yeah. So when you were little, did you guys do at like, night, right? Yeah. Yeah. We used to do Christmas Eve was one present. You would get one present from the family. And then you would, we would all sleep together in the room. We'd sleep in my older brother Timmy's room. It was so uh, exciting. Wait, all the kids only or the parents? Me, you're so funny. Parents know. Oh. <laughs> you're like a real slumber party with everyone. Like seven people in a small bedroom is like a dream. Well, no, we woke still, up to Timmy lived in the third on the third floor. So yeah. we would think we could hear Santa on the roof. So we would go up there. And we it was so hard to go to sleep. And my uh, brother had this like little alarm clock he would set for seven. Uh, yeah, I'll never forget that alarm clock. And we would like sleep on the floor, all three of us. And we would like, the minute we woke up, we would just like, dark. Timmy would go check for us. He would run down, but, and then Santa would leave like a trail of Hershey Kisses all the way up the stairs, all the way down to the tree. Oh, and so world. All different kinds. All different kinds. All different kinds. <laughs> and but I will say, how did they hurt when you stepped on them? Like an actual <laughs> slicing point. And you would run downstairs and then, so we had our one present the night before and then we would go down and we would get our presents and it was, there were bikes. We were so spoy. We were spoy, spoy, spoy. That's how Todd's mom says it. One of my favorite naughty memories is like, me and my sister, when when everything was quiet by the tree at my grandparents' house, because we did every Christmas in Minnesota, we would, my sister was like, okay, so you know how I'm, we're kind of like slobs, right? Like mm -hmm. rip through things. It's really hard. Just a hard life. Hi, this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> hard <laughs> lifestyle, right? So, but my sister, much like my mom, they're like perfectionists. They can do any little meticulous thing. So my sister and I would go to the tree before Christmas Eve when it's quiet. And my sister would use her perfectionist skills and open the gifts. And, sneak. and we would see what was in there. And I was always like, yes, she's so useful. Yeah. And that I'm like... I find myself like thinking about that. I'm like, that was fun, Sister my, Bond, even though it was naughty. My old homeschooled, like super Christian neighbors, they were hoarders and they loved Rush Limbaugh. Um, <laughs> they would reuse all the wrapping paper. So to open the wrapping paper, they would take a um, butter knife and very carefully slice everything open and fold the paper up to use again. That's, That's kind of like green. That's kind of not Republican. And that's very like my mom. She opens things so she doesn't tear the paper. So she saves it for my another sister, time. My sister and my mom do that too. Wait, but you didn't tell us what are your Christmas plans this year? Christmas plans, they're kind of still up in the air because I'm going to go see my nieces. So my older brother and the boys are going to Disney on Ice, which I'm actually livid about because I feel like I'm more fun than Disney on Ice, not to sound narcissistic, but on But have you been fun. to Disney on Ice? No, I'm not a Disney, but it's pretty great. We used to do that when I was little. They're we got some like bootleg Disney version kids. in the Philippines. I don't think we got the real one, but it was like one of my core memories. You know what? My one sister, my, well, my one sister. Why are only the boys going to Disney on Ice? Because it's their family. His, like my sister in law decided, my brother's like, they're not going to like it, but maybe they will. But so they're doing that on the 26th. So now that kind of cock blocks us all being in Boston together. So now I'm like, okay, we could do Todd's family for Christmas. We do a, a Secret Santa anyway. And I'm very excited about who I get. And I can't give away any hints because they might watch this show. You're getting spoiled. We're like, so we'll do Secret Santa with them. And then we'll drive up to Boston and see my nieces. But I got my niece the best present. It's like exactly what she wants. She wants the Stanley Cup that that that's one of survived. the most the, all the kids want it. That that's like the Gen Z. I, I have the list of all the hottest Gen Z gifts. And it's that's so one of them. cute. So she wants it really bad. So then I got her like the one that sold out. Like I searched everywhere like this fluorescent pink one and I got a small one for her and a big one for me. So it's like we have matching. Cute. And then I'm getting stickers of like her cat and pictures of us together so she can stick them on. But she wants she's like, I don't want like the pink shiny one. And that's the one I got her. <laughs> and I spent like over $200. It's like, you f 
much. But I was like, she's like, I want, she goes, like eBay or something? eBay. I just searched. I'm like, nothing, nothing will stop me to get what my girl wants. But then she's like, I don't (laughs) want that one. She's like, I want the white one. And I went, you're not going to be basic. I went to her, I go, I know it's cool. You're a kid. You can't have the white one. I went, I know it's cool. Auntie knows what's cool. I'm cooler than any of your friends and anyone you know, and you know that. And so she's going to freak out. And I think that we have the matching ones. And then I have to get something for my baby niece. It's um, classic Esther, trash. I have a couple specific kid Christmas questions that I would like to ask you. Okay. Now that you have a kid, will you be doing Christmas photos and sending them like the Kardashians do? And- okay. So a long time ago, when Dave and I were early in our relationship, he once casually said that if we ever have kids, we're not allowed to have Christmas or Hanukkah. Now, She's marrying the Grinch. He. But uh, why? I think it was a conversation that like me and a couple of friends were having about like Christmas or Hanukkah. And Dave is just, he has these phases, you know, these modes. Like, for example, one year he asked for me to get this book for him. It's called It's Better to Have Never Been Born. Like he's just kind of a contrarian. <laughs> he's giving that to the kid, he's, the baby book. <laughs> I like the idea even, of intuitive parenting. For my, I would think for <laughs> yeah. myself. It's like whatever, like, what can you plan? Feels right at that time. And I think Dave has since gone back on his rule of no holidays. I mean, he's going to have to. Didn't I mean, you say you want your kid to be goth? It's kind of goth to have no holidays. <laughs> well, goth like in appearance. I, I like. But hap- but like. I just happen. really want her to have dark hair. That's all I really <laughs> meant by that. And we will henna dye that shit. <laughs> okay, so the next question that we have for you, Esther, is the Santa Claus. If right. you say you do celebrate Christmas with your child, how are you going to handle Are you going to lie to your kid about Santa Claus? We've talked about this on the show before, which you guys, I think we all, I just, you both disagree with me. I think this is like a big point. But has your mind changed um, since? No, I'm not lying to my child and making up a story. You're going to ruin their childhood. It's, here's what it will be. FOMO for life. Santa is a make-believe story that we play pretend is happening. It's not real. It's just we're going to have play pretend, tell the story, Santa's coming, exciting. I'm pulling her aside and going, your mom's lying. <laughs> Santa's real. She's <laughs> tricking you. She's being a weirdo about it. I don't know why. Yeah, the, aunt, yeah, the aunties will fuck it up for you. Because because it's, okay, so with my, I'm going to I'm gonna give like a trigger warning to my sister-in-law so she doesn't listen to this in front of my niece that I don't think she does anyway because I say curse words, but, but my niece is 11. Okay. Okay. She put on lip gloss to meet Santa. And this year they're like, we have to. Like, I was over there when she was nine. (laughs) When she was nine, we were like, I was there the night we were like going to tell her that Santa's not real. But she was so, like, excited about him that we were like, no. And then she put on lip gloss. She asked him for her cell phone. So I think she might know, but it's like, what a manipulation to be like, to pretend you still know. But they were like, sat down and they were going to tell her. And then she was so excited about it that they just were like, abort, abort, abort. Let her have her fun as long as she can. I think for me, um, I liked writing letters. It was the first time that I knew I could express myself on paper um, and ask for, reflect on the year before. So it was like, this is what happened in my year in a very childish way, of course. This is what I'm looking forward to. These are the things that I feel I deserve. But it was a place for my feelings and thoughts That's and my wishes and dreams. And then I would <laughs> I would seal it, nervous. put it in North Pole, and I, I knew that, that it was sealed. So it was I a- sent, Kalila, I just sent a list of things. I didn't say, dear Santa. I was really? just like, list, list. Maybe I said, dear Santa, give me these. Thank you. So I carry that on to my adulthood. I only stopped a couple of years ago. Where it was like a Dear Santa long letter, but it was just a year of reflection. Why would you stop now? Um, I, uh, you know, now I just tell my therapist. <laughs> Did Esther finally tell you Santa's not real? Yeah, she Esther ruined Christmas it. for you? Yeah. I, I didn't know until you, then. I love that, that you cute. did that. And I feel like that could still happen in a make-believe way. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I you should say, write him some poetry. I you ever, when I lied to my niece about it, I feel really bad. Like, it feels really weird. Wait, but are kids shattered when they find out? Find I out because yes. I was not shattered. Shattered. You I were shattered? shattered? You I was were? so shattered. But I How got old through were it. you? I mean, it's because I figured it out on my own when I was like six, and it was like Christmas is ruined, like, and everything's a lie. Oh, you wow. know why you guys were shattered? I was not because adults who you loved Trust. and trusted were yeah. lying to you. Esther, I agree. You're an actress. They were playing. <laughs> it was a stage. They were playing. They were acting. Yet that's the version that I will do. Is we're playing Santa. I just I look. I think it's cool. It's magical. It's not for me. If your f-ing kid tells people, <laughs> that's where the problem is. Yeah, that's true. I'm not going to 
encourage that. I'm just going to say, look, so you're going to make her be a liar. No, I'm going to say, look, are if, you going to lie or is she going to lie? Look, because you're ruining your, people's Christmas. If some of your friends are stupid enough to believe that Santa is real, let's just let them be. I figured it out on my own. But then when I figured it out, I didn't, I loved watching my parents because it was, you know, I didn't have an easy childhood. So, but this was like the time for ceasefire where like everything, <laughs> this was the only time Your dad like my dying. mom He's was like, I will stop dying. <laughs> yeah. He stopped dying. My mom was like kind to me because mm. uh, the uh, downside is persona non grata were then invited back into the family. And it's like, why is my molester at Christmas mm. dinner? You know what I mean? Anyways. Dressed as Santa. <laughs> he is Santa. Um, but for me, it was like, I really appreciated that my parents went above and beyond. And I'm like, I already know it's not real, but they're still creating this thing for they're me. They're working my towards heart. your and it, it, joy. Yeah. It was the one time I truly felt like loved by them. I'm like, oh, they don't have to do this. My mom has beat me between January to November. And now we have December and she she's going. She wanted you to be red and green for the <laughs> holiday. <laughs> she just wanted you to match. <laughs> yeah. So I wasn't shattered. I just, I think I wanted to carry on the fantasy of it all because they were nice to me over Christmas. But again, that still would work in my scenario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I, I'm starting to kind of side with you a little bit, but I do wonder, I want to see how it plays out. And isn't it crazy though? Like I'm feeling that same experience that like as you right now, almost like, oh my God, the holidays, it's all about nostalgia. And so creating those memories when you're young, then it's like every year you have this little secret access code to memories, nostalgia. I don't know, like every Christmas decoration, it just puts you in a good mood. And so for me, like it doesn't have to be about religion. It doesn't even have to be about presents. It's just like, oh, this music and these colors. Yes. I mean, the presents though. <laughs> presents were great. Hey, big when you're a kid. Okay. So the answer, the verdict is Esther, um, we're going to tell the kid, what age are you going to say, hey, Santa is a make-believe thing? It's always going to be make-believe. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, from the moment they ask. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. at like two years old. It's a play they pretend they don't, story. Do they have the conceptual We'll ability? get a book. We'll read the book. And then we'll be like, let's pretend this is. Got it. Okay. And we'll do that for every book. We'll pretend every book is. Yeah. And we'll play. I'm like. The Bible. I'm going to get so into playing. I'm like very excited to play. <laughs> We also, yeah, that is cute. we open presents on Christmas Eve. And then maybe it's like, oh, these are the Santa, get, like small gifts on the morning. We did. I forgot to. We would go, we would get our stockings, go up to our parents, wake our parents up, do stockings in bed, and then go down and open our presents. Oh, cute. My mom would make like eggs and bacon. And if mm. my grandfather was there, he would make slow cooked bacon that was just bacon on low for f five f hours. Smells the whole house up. You're so hungry. You're like, Poppy, are they, it's still cooking? Give me the fucking bacon. Did you guys go to church? That's yeah. what we did cr Christmas Eve. We went to church. This is what I was uh, going to ask you. You know, the tw celebrating on the 24th, like Noche Buena and stuff, is a very like brown people thing to do. Like I always thought like when waking up and breakfast, Christmas breakfast and opening gifts was like what we considered very a white yeah. tradition. So like I'm surprised that you guys do. Noche, Noche Buena. Uh, they're brown people. They're, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're brown people. Stocks. I'm surprised you guys do it on the 24th. I that love that. That is interesting. It might be because like we're not super religious. So maybe it's like the more religious people But you do did Christmas go to church. Day. Did you go to church on like Easter too or just on No, Christmas? only on Christmas Eve. But that's because we were always at my grandparents' house and they were church goers. Mm. So it we like just a, like pretended like we did that too. But not like midnight mass, right? No, my friend did. I always wanted to do that. And sometimes. Yeah, it does sound like almost sleepover church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like there is a feeling. Thing. That is. Yeah. There is a feeling. Midnight Mass is really special in that way. Like even if you're not religious, it's like you see everyone's like up past midnight and you're like, wow, why are we doing this? Why are we here? I think And you church, see your friends, you know, and it's kind of fun. Church is like fun whether you're religious or not. I it's think like, so. It's I like love church. It's yeah. so fun. I think have I want to start to like going a, to church. Have you, well, Todd and I were doing that for Annie and we just did one. We just did, we were going to do church reviews. We just went to Quaker meeting. <laughs> And it was actually so sad because everyone in the meeting so old and they were so excited to see like young people because they're all going to die out. There's going to be no one left to go to Quaker meeting. And then, but we were like, oh, we're just checking in. We're not going to be here again. Do you want to go together? Yeah, I'll go with you. I want to do like- Can we start Catholic? Because have you gone to the crazy like big churches? The mega churches yeah. are so fun. They're like scary. It's like you're like- They're beautiful. Oh. They're like palatial. Um, I, see, I'm not comfortable going into a church as a stranger. I, I need to be with a regular if I'm going in. Well, let's go. Just go with Annie. Well- I belong wherever I go. <laughs> yeah. when, when I was little, I used to go to Catholic church with Christina. And 
I can't remember if I've told you this, but in health class, did you guys ever take home those electronic babies? I never got to do that. We, I we never were, got to do that They were too afraid either. we would actually have kids. They gave us like an egg. I got a D Esther. I did that. I hated it. We had, no, we had a uh, flower. We had a pound oh, of flower. Oh, my sister, I think, did that. And oh God, watching kids get mad at each other and kill their babies Wait. was the funniest thing I've ever seen. So we did that. And Christina, like you... Was a twin, and so our teacher made her take two of the babies. Which seems like she should make someone else unfair. do that. Yeah, so she, so Christina had two, and I remember we went to church, and it was like dead of winter, yes. and she had the two babies, and they're dolls, so they weren't dressed; they were just like naked in their little things. And these all these old women came up to us and were like, "Bless these poor children!" Like <laughs> we scared everyone at the church. You put that in a script. That's so funny. <laughs> Did they know they were fake babies? No, of course not. Okay, because I used to carry around, my friend and I would carry around this blow-up doll with us. We would go to like okay. all these diners, Tiffany's Diner. Like we just thought it was so funny. We called her Judy. We brought her everywhere with us. <laughs> and old women like loved our blow-up doll. They thought it was so funny. They're like, oh, she's beautiful. They'd like pinch her cheek. I swear to God, it was like <laughs> such a hit. <laughs> This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. I love the holidays, but the holidays can bring about a lot of extra feelings. It is a lot. Even just Thanksgiving, I went back for six days and it's like, I regress to like the worst version of myself. It's so hard to really keep up. And therapy is what I've been doing, teletherapy. It's like, you're on vacation, but you can still do it. This is why I love BetterHelp. It's designed to be convenient. It's designed for someone like me who sometimes has really bad days. I can't get out of bed. And sometimes I just need, I only have the energy to turn on my phone and talk to somebody. I don't have to go drive somewhere find parking. They have this great journal feature where I can write my thoughts and feelings in between my sessions. And all you have to do is you fill out the simple questionnaire online. They'll match you with a licensed therapist. It's very easy. It's very convenient. Personally, like pregnancy, I've been going through a lot of changes. Having someone to talk those things through with that's not just a friend or a family member has been extremely helpful mm -hmm. for me. Um, and in the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Trash Tuesday today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Trash Tuesday. I wish I had a video of this. I was brushing my teeth with my quip on the way over. On the I way was over driving here? and quipping. Really? I was driving and quipping. Thank you, Tesla. This is so cute. So that is cute. adorable. I need this one. This is so good. So this is a collaboration that's brand new for Quip. It's with the renowned artist and innovator Chantelle Martin, known for her bold, inquisitive artwork and diverse creative ventures. And the inspiration behind the collection, Chantelle Martin believes in living a happy, healthy, and artistically rich life. Me too. Values that Quip champions. This collection is designed to inspire you in the same way every morning and night. Chantelle's iconic line Art Grace's two new limited edition products, the Smart Rechargeable Toothbrush, which Annie has there, and the Gum and Mint Dispenser. And it brings simple function and beauty to everyday oral care. This is so cute. If you go to getquip.com slash trash Tuesday right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush and mint gum dispenser. Plus, listeners of the show will get an exclusive 20% off discount on the Chantel Martin collection bundle. That's 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser. Spencer or the Chantel Martin bundle at getquip.com slash trash Tuesday. Spell G E T Q U I P dot com slash trash Tuesday. Quip the Good Habits Company. Guys, we're going to do a quick lightning round QA about uh, controversial Christmas things. So, number one is artificial or real tree? Real. Real. Artificial for allergies. And so you can reuse it every year. It's so fun going to get them, though. I love picking them out. Same. That was, like, the most fun. And my family, one time my dad tied it, not tight enough, and it fell off on the highway. <laughs> and we had to, like, pull over. It was, like, so almost like see, a but mishaps up. turn out to always be the most memorable It things, feels like right? we were, I'm like, is my dad Chevy Chase? It was, like, yeah, are we in a movie? Like yeah, that sounds like a freaking movie. Um, I've had both artificial growing up, and by the time I got to the real stuff, like, now the smell is very... Yeah. Uh, I am jealous I of the it. smell. Yeah, the but you can always good. light a candle that's just a pine tree Okay, candle, wait. Right? So I thought my ex-boyfriend had a fake tree because this was my other Jersey boyfriend because 
they had a white tree, but they just got a real tree and sprayed flogged it with it. the white. Yeah, it's a flog tree. That was pretty cute. Really pretty. That is cute. Pretty fucking cute. That's very Kardashian, I feel like. white. I thought more white trash than... But trash. flog trees <laughs> get really messy. <laughs> How long do you guys keep the tree up past December 25th? Um, up until um, um, Three Kings. I think Three Kings is like January 7th, which is like what? a Catholic thing. Oh. My family has ADD, so just as long until I'm, some of my mom remembered... And mine's like the opposite of that. My, it's like my mom is just like probably the next morning, just like everything. I wake up on the 26th. Everything. I'm like, where is it all? <laughs> it's all gone. already. It, there is that like depression so where you're sad. like, it's just winter now. Is that why they call it Boxing Day? <laughs> no, no, it's that's British. the UK. Oh, it's not because like families box it up because <laughs> that's really that's funny. Really Esther's funny. mom shows up but and takes well, the tree this year, down. This year, I'm going home. The, Usually I, when I go on long trips, I go like the 15th. So like you milk that pre-Christmas. But this year I'm going right before Christmas. So I'm going to stay in the spirit like up until New Year's Chain Eve. yourself to the tree like people do. <laughs> like, mom, you're not taking it. And then she can just like lift it up because it's not attached. I um I wanted to say about me decorating my apartment. I My fiance is still in his 20s. So we already, we always have Christmas lights up. Just as regular yeah. decoration. It's still dorm dorm style. I but like I think we I saw there's a Christmas tree place right across from our house. And I'm like, we ha it's right there. And I've been clean being clean. So it's like I think before I never had it because I was like, oh my God, there's so much clutter. That is the one Wait. thing when you called me the other day and you're like, I gotta go, I gotta go clean. I'm like, who are you? It feels good. It's like, okay, can I I have nocturnal panic attacks as well. Yeah. And what I what I realized recently, which is like such a breakthrough for me is I would wake up like in a full sweat spinning about something. And in the next day I would be like trying to investigate why am I a panicky person? Why do I have anxiety? Like I would be looking at it too like broad. And then the, the other day it hit me. It's like, I'm panicking th about something specific. So I was like, I'm panicking about like ticket sales. So that's an actionable step I can take is I'll just, so now every time before I go to bed and every time I wake up, I just go, oh, I'll like, just promote what I need to promote tonight and I'll promote it in the morning. Like I just think about what I need to do. And then like whatever new thing pops up, I'm just going to look at it like item. Like it's almost like I have an internal to-do list that's just like clicking in. And because I'm not checking in before I go to bed, it's happening in the middle of the night. So I'm looking at my anxiety now as like a pushing force rather than a thing that I have that I'm crippled by. Cleaning has helped me too, where it's like, there, I have this dread over me. It feels like everything in my life is an extracurricular activity when my house is messy. Like I have this like homework I need to do, which is clean my house and I'm not doing it. So I have that a little bit with exercise too. So I've just been like, when I have a minute, I just clean, I just clean and I feel so much better. And yes. What gets you in the mood to clean? Like for me, my favorite thing is like get a coffee mm -hmm. and I'm like, this is like my little clean companion. And then it gets me pumped up to That's, do stuff. I didn't even think about having, I mean, maybe I can work on that, but I just, you know what it is? I've just been trying to tell myself, like, every time I don't want to do something, it's brave to do the thing I don't want to do right now. Just be brave, be brave, be brave. So I just, like, do it. And then, like, halfway through, like, sometimes I'm talking on the phone with people and stuff, but it's, like, the same as, like, when I sit down and do work. I, we were talking about with David So about the Pomodoro thing, where it's, like, 25 minutes, alarm goes off, you get five minutes to f*** around, 25 minutes of focus time. Yeah. I never get past one Pomodoro. I do 25 minutes and then I do like five years off and then I come back <laughs> but I realize like it's actually embarrassing how much I can get done in 25 minutes like I'm procrastinating all the time it's like if focused energy for 25 minutes I get like I write like a novel yeah and so that's the same with cleaning it's like if I just focus and keep like next step next step next step I can clean my own house in like I think that's a 40 minutes yeah I think that's a what I do is like you I set myself up I'll have a playlist ready I'll have a, a drink podcast. that I enjoy that's a good idea that's a really um, good idea and then I'll just choose one thing that I know I want to work on. But usually that one thing leads to the yes. second thing. So it's like as long as I keep my um, goals small mm -hmm. with the cleaning. Yes. Instead of saying I got to do everything today. Yeah. Then I feel more like incentivized. I'm like, wow, this place is let, – let me just move to the bathroom and yeah. see what can, how much I can get done there. Yep. Like a basic thing of even like if I'm like, I'm just going to put the shoes away. And then it's just yes. like, oh, then I'll do this. Then I'll, And I did it at night before I went to bed the other night. Like I just wasn't like exhausted. So I was like, oh, I'll just like clean up. And then I woke up to a clean place. It was like insane. Oh, the feeling. Clean sheets, clean place. Well, I mean, I'm Tree not up, <laughs> fireplace going. <laughs> clean. It's such a great feeling. Yeah, I'm getting into that too. I, I, I think like the nesting that's supposed to hit me is like slowly. I'm like... Mm -hmm. 
oh, rather than sit here, I should go through my this whole cabinet. And it has made me think to myself, like, I've always liked small spaces, but I'm like, I would never want to be in a space that's too big where you couldn't clean it yourself if you had to. Yeah. Three, two for life. I always say that no matter how much money I make, it's going to be a three bedroom um, two bathroom, never more than 2,000 square feet. I want a lot of outdoor space, right. mm-hmm. but it's never going to be more than 2,000 square well, feet because I just can't clean it. I don't want it. You can it. come visit me and have uh, <laughs> a wing because I feel very different. <laughs> I can't wait to have a staff. Um, <laughs> By the way, I don't know if you guys saw, but it was announced that Kim Kardashian has around a dozen Christmas trees in just her bathroom. I saw year? that. I did see yeah, that. Um, I, I don't hate on it because 2019, the year before the pandemic, my family thought I was insane for buying three large Christmas trees and I had one in every single corner and then sure enough we missed three Christmases after that I was like see I was like mm. I had or foresight. did you put a curse I might have put a curse but I have a question are there trees made out of all of the hair she got lasered off <laughs> oh that's so pretty that's oh, gorgeous now, like, should I get a tree of my sure. own it just seems like a huge thing Commitment don't put it to under the heater. It, the mess. Don't put it you under the heater it. directly so it doesn't You're dry out. That. You got one thing to carry. <laughs> and I tell you something I did the other day. I'll say it's Christmas related just because Christmas has lists and this was about I knocked something off my to-do list that I had to do for a long time. I had ordered this package of NAD um infusions, which I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I of course. I mean I just Joe Rogan said he did it and I had money and I was like, okay, they had a deal and I just spent so much money on it two years ago. So I go in to get and it's like an infusion. What does it do? I mean it's supposed to do a lot of things, but it's supposed to it's very regenerative. Yeah. Um, Have you done it? I've never done it because um, it I, it's a slow, it just, slow infusion, right? You kind of have to sit there. How long do you sit there? Two hours? An hour well, and mine half. was an hour and a half, but it, but I'll tell you what happened. So some people, so you can leave it open. Some crazy people leave it open and they kind of pace around the arm because it feels like, it's hard to explain. It feels like your body is squeezing and burning on the inside. Right. You have to like take a shit. It this is why, really like crazy. I feel anxious thinking about it, which I is know. why I haven't tried How it. Do you do? I, listen, if the rich people do it, <laughs> just like, Do you just I'm feel so like you have gullible. energy legs? I feel... Absolutely incredible right now. And I'm going to go on on Friday and do it again. But so, okay, so I walk into the place that I go to. The two nurses, there's like a medical assistant and a nurse, and they're like getting it prepared. Their coffee machine was broken, so I'm like, I'm going to go grab a coffee. Do you guys want a coffee? The medical assistant's like, they both say no, but I can see that the nurse wants one. And I go, come on, let me get you, buy you a coffee. I bring her her matcha, and I go, this is like so you don't prick me too hard, bitch. You know, I'm like, be easy on me. So I go in. They have me in like a special room. They put the injection in. I'm laying there and I'm like, I have to keep like, they have a call button for the nurse. I have to keep like being like, all right, like open it more, close it more. Cause it's just like hard to bear. But in the middle of it, I start to feel so nauseous, right? Like, and my new Louis Vuitton purse is there. <gasps> I rebagged. I want to talk about rebag. What? And, okay. You and I, a new purse? And I like, and I don't tell my business manager. And um, <laughs> I just am kidding, he gets manager. alerts. He gets alerts on his phone. How funny is that? Like in the middle of the night, he'll just be like, "Oh, she's having a nocturnal panic attack." <laughs> she's coping. <laughs> but but I I just I'm doing the call button. It's not working. And I just lean over and I just throw up all over. And I almost got out of my purse, just like a little bit on the outside. I threw up all of my pills and I threw up my microdose. I was like, "That's." I go careful. That's mescaline. <laughs> That's mushrooms and masculine. But um, so as the the girl is coming in to clean the medical assistant, I go, should have gotten that coffee, bitch. <laughs> but they were very nice about it. And then they, they have like an anti-nausea thing that I'll take next time. Yeah. But that's what the guys will do. Like the guys that are like all proud, they'll have it open. It'll take 20 minutes. They'll run around the room. They have the anti-nausea thing. They like jump up oh. and down. They just try to get through it. The reason that I'm I'm... It makes me anxious to think about is because I don't even drink coffee. I don't like things that make me feel revved up like yeah. at all. So like the idea of like it, it, it feels like a panic attack. I can't escape. I think during it's hard, but right now I just feel young. I mean, I know it's I good for like, you. I just feel like a little pep in my step. And, and it was great. It was cool. It was like hilarious to throw up all over the floor of the mall. I mean, it was all just cold brew too. There was like nothing else in my system. Oh, that's probably why. Well, they said that, yeah. yeah. And it never makes sense. I'm like, wouldn't I, if I have more in my stomach? I mean, I believe nurses, but Wait, I Wait, tell us about the, pur- the purse. Oh, I decided I wanted like a bigger purse. And I was like, even though these are kind of basic, I really want one. This girl I sat next to on the plane, she was like, that's so sturdy. It just has everything. And I've just been like Amelia bedelia around town with like a bunch <laughs> of things in my hand, like just looking ridiculous, dropping things all the time. So I was like, I need a big purse. 
And I want to carry around my notebook. I have this like vision of like having a notebook that has all of my things in it because I've always been trying to have separate notebooks. So I like have, and it's just, there's, it's an, it's not, so I want to have like my journal, my joke list, my to-do list, my drawings, everything in one thing. Even you like print so things out. You are so brave to be willing to leave the house been, with your journal. Listen, That's I've, crazy. no, I've lost them. I leave, and where do you think I'm leaving them? It's the comedy store. It's, <laughs> who cares? I've had like nightmares. No, I've done it. I've the- done it. <laughs> it's happened so many times. I'm through it. I've gone through it already. <laughs> it's all my Iowa. Like I had, my journal was like, I, I was like on ayahuasca, like writing crazy <laughs> shit. Sometimes I leave my journal open and then I'll walk in the room and Dave is, and I'm like, no, I have to like <laughs> run. And he's just making fun of me. It's always something so embarrassing. I have had a very, this is where it gets, this is even more embarrassing because this is in my last lost journal. <laughs> I've started doing a thing. This is very woo-woo, guys. I don't care. It's actually really crazy and working. And I, no one told me to do this. I just started doing it. I've been writing to myself in my journal going like, dear guides, dear help, like whatever. I say a different thing each time, like dear light or whatever. Like what, like light inside me, like subconscious. Like what do I need to know today? And it's, my subconscious is like writing, but it's like, weird it's like not me writing back but oh. i've gotten all this like advice from myself it's funny it's really weird speaking of journals Esther, i was i saw this post um on instagram and it's basically this really cute journal between mom and daughter oh and it's just a, you know mom gives it to the daughter and says whatever questions you have for me about the world and like oh write it God. here and so then cute. so they share this journal and the mom answers on the next page and it's so that's really cute, cute. like some of the questions are like why why do I feel like Danny is gonna tell on me like really basic things like and the mom will be like you know like I know you're frustrated with Danny but remember like you know you know don't mean you don't have to be mean you can so it's just my mom cutest. would be like because you're a bitch <laughs> did you ever read your I read my mom's journal once and it was like poems about me being like her broken child I was like oh you no. fuck I was like, I'm about to write about you. Bitch. Oh, I wanted so I got this on Rebag. What's that? I've never heard Rebag of it. is like the same as like the real real or whatever. It's oh. like so it's like I like I think I'm supporting a fellow overspender. <laughs> I'm helping a sister out. And and I hope it's reciprocated when I have to sell all my purses too. But so it's like cheaper, but you can get them at different so this was like excellent. It's like brand really new. cute. Yeah, it's I cute. got it I way it. cheaper. It's a classic bag. Um, What's a great um entry purse that I can get if I'm not a purse girly? Um, Don't even. It just don't whatever. It's like, I don't like have a do. single. Get yourself a tote um, bag from Trader Joe's. Stop. Okay, don't that's go. that's what I have right now. Don't do you it. It's purses. a waste of money. I do, but I'm. I don't want to start it for someone else. Okay, so it's not. I'll go shopping with you. No, we I can don't. go online. No, there's a medium ground. Have her do a rebag. It's cool. And then it's a, their investment pieces that can go with our swatches. Because I don't have a single um, fancy swatches. purse. I think or designer purse. purchases. I had that one year where I, you know, went a little stupid. I think it's so dumb. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get her baby designer thing. <laughs> okay, I'm so no, do don't do it, Annie. I'll take you. We'll okay. go. I'll take you on an internet ride. Own your purchases. Own your moves. Because here's what I think. Okay, and this could be crazy. When I wear this, I feel really good. I feel happy. I feel good. It like makes me feel. And of course, we're all falling into this like scam or whatever. But I like the scam. I'm enjoying the scam. Yeah, the scam like sparks joy. It's not a scam. I feel high vibe when I wear I, it. I feel good. I get it. I feel that too. But I'm still saying don't start. I don't want to pass this on to okay. anyone. And whoever steals this is going to get a lot of insights from my guy. <laughs> Wait, speaking they of They tell that, me to buy more purses. Of that journal, you know what I heard Kim Kardashian say she does for her kids, which like sounds so magnificent and I want to do it and I hope I do. She says that every single year on her kid's birthday, she writes them like a five-page letter just like about all the things they're into that year, their nicknames, like what are they like eating. And so then the, the kids will have that when they're adults. I'm like, that's so incredible. But do you think you just like manipulate it a little bit? Just like, change a couple things. Like what? Just like to make them have a different memory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like that. But I also like whatever my brain has kept. But it was cute. We found our like report cards when we were little. Oh, that's from really- nursery school. And it was cute. It was like with my twin brother, it was like saying how I would like tie his shoes for him and stuff. It was that like sweet. That is super cute. Yeah. Yeah. I would want to know that stuff. Yeah. Oh, is this a gift? I have got you guys a present. I'm ready for it. Okay, so I wanted to get you guys something you wanted, and I listened to you when you asked me what my highlighter was. 
So I got you each one. Wait, the eyeshadow you mean? This is the eyeshadow and the highlighter, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God, thank you so much. Oh my God, Annie, that is- this Oh, is it's this, Urban Decay. So this yeah. is the one you're wearing That's right now? That's the one I've been wearing, yeah. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh my it's God, so pretty. thank you. You're I didn't welcome. know we were doing gifts. I just figured last minute. Can I say that I did have an idea, but it was not executed and I wanted to get both of enough. you um, <laughs> a sits bath. What like a portable one. Well, you're gonna know after birth. Why does Annie know? Well, it's gonna be for I've her hemorrhoids. I've already been through it. I've already been in it, bitch. <laughs> sits bath for the hemorrhoids and sits bath for um, you know, if you, you think, give birth vaginally, then you'll need. Do you it. think when I have kids, I'm gonna have like a leg up because I've already had every problem that a pregnant woman has had? Honestly, just naturally, I think that you're not gonna notice labor at all. <laughs> You're gonna, people are gonna be like, Annie, I swear the baby's half out yeah, of here. Like, like, are you them. sure? <laughs> Wait a second. If, why did these gifts come from Stella? Because I needed her to get them for me. This okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't know that was an option. I paid for it. Well, <laughs> Some question I had for you guys is your takes on Christmas movies. We asked the audience too, like what their favorite ones were because we thought mean it'd be Mean Girls is favorites? not a Christmas movie. It's not at all. Home Alone 4. Which one were you in? <laughs> I don't know. The remake. I don't think it was a sequel one. I only like the one Esther was in. I have one line, so you're really taking a big Wait, what's your line? Swing. I have no idea what my line was. Oh my God, my ex-husband would freak out if he knew that. Home but alone. it was in the remake on Disney+. Plus. It doesn't matter. And my it was during COVID, and my scene was with uh, Kenan Thompson and Ellie Kemper, but Kenan wasn't there. So, like, I never got to meet Kenan. He was just... He, I like, met him. Did I tell you how I met him? I forget. It was my proposal night. He was backstage at Chris Angel with me. Is there anything oh, funnier in the world so than that? Weird. <laughs> but so I didn't even meet him, but he was, it was, I literally am acting so in a scene with him, him and he's not there. So funny. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't, I'm not a big Christmas movie girly. I wasn't so. either. Really? I wasn't either, I but then my ex, like, it's all him and his family did. And then I've met other people that are huge Christmas movie people. Yeah, I, like I feel Bad like Santa. none of, Die Hard for sure is a very popular one. I know Home Alone, yes. But I mean like all of the good ones, like Christmas Vacation. Like oh, that's, yeah. that is like with Randy Quaid, like yeah. come on. Does Planes, Trains, and Automobiles count? Wasn't that that's, during the holidays? It feels snowy. That's Thanksgiving. Oh, it was Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's Thanksgiving. I, okay, I loved, I did love Home Alone. Um, love actually is, is insane. I loved it when I first saw it and then I watched it again. I was like, what was happening? Why? Tell me what. Every, it's just very weird. It's just a weird movie. There's it's like, a TikTok trend going around about how problematic. It's yeah, just weird. It's like the guy's like stalking. One guy is like stalking mm -hmm. Kira Knightley. Knightley. The best friend. It's psychotic. Yeah. Like he's the videographer and he doesn't film anyone but her he zooms in on right. her it's, it's like very stalkery it's weird it's, it's like weird this isn't okay and that's your best friend it's like ew the prime minister also dating his yes and and it's just like i don't know it just you doesn't seem like positive healthy relationships let's get this way. out and replace it with a holiday with cameron diaz and kate winslet jack mm. black i do love that's a great movie that's that, cute. so one of the questions i have Four is Christmases like Christmases even is mm -hmm. the rom-com the best version i believe it is of the christmas movie so that's like the holiday sleepless in seattle family stone i don't think so mm -hmm. i think the elves christmas Add vacation Santa i think and, the comedy is elf Elf yeah. was so Elf good. Is Elf was so the, best. Good. the best. I do think we're like starved for an absolutely hilarious Christmas movie. Okay. I, I do have a friend that's writing one. I just saw the best movie I've seen in a million years. And it is kind of a Christmas movie. Like it is in vibes, but not in content. Can I guess? What? Did yeah. it just come out? Yeah, I saw it in the theaters. Is it Godzilla minus one? Are you joking? No. Is it Thanksgiving <laughs> with Tim Dillon? What? Are you? No, because everyone's talking about Godzilla minus one. I, I say it's like amazing. It's, I did hear it's good and I do want to see it. Okay. You guys, has anyone here seen The Holdovers? No. I've not even heard of it. Oh my God. It's the best movie Why I've seen. Why are you seen. holding this over me? <laughs> like I am. I am. It's like, it's, what is it? It's gonna have Oscar buzz, I'm pretty sure. And it's directed by Alexander Payne, who directs really like amazing movies like Sideways. My, yeah. One of my favorite movies love of all time. Sideways. Sideways? Ele no, Election. Oh, I love I Election. Love election. Sideways, That's yeah, his love. movie. And it's like the performances he gets, they're like so. So it's, it's Paul Giamatti and it's like sad and Christmassy. And basically, he's this, this like kind of grumpy teacher at a an all boys like boarding school. He's a good grump. 
And it's called, I know, and it's called The Holdovers because it's like he gets assigned to watch over the, the kids that don't have families. They have to stay for That's Christmas, cool. Christmas Aww. break. It's so good, would you guys. Would you say you're like a hot female Paul Giamatti? Yes, I would. I <laughs> actually <laughs> would. Yes. Oh, that does sound really good. That sound, that's such you a cute idea. You guys have to go see it. And it's, and it's so awesome that it like has those warm, fuzzy holiday snow, Christmas mm -hmm. stuff. Like I've been trying to recruit everyone so to go see The Boy and the Heron with me. And no, I've said it on I Tiger Belly. I don't know any of these movies. I want to see Tim's Thanksgiving movie as well. Uh, the Boy and the Heron is Hayao Miyazaki, mm -hmm. and um, it's supposed it was supposed to be his last um, animated film, but our Pats is voicing it, and a lot of the cast is pretty great. Oh, Although I'm going to okay, watch cool. the one with the subtitles. I have a question: If we do end up going to the movies together, are you able to eat popcorn? Yeah. Okay. I am good, and I'm because I wouldn't. Smile I wouldn't face. even ask you. Well, Wait. you know that like that's the only reason I go. I, it's the movie is so second. The popcorn and the movie is everything. That's yeah. magic. That's romance. Yes. That's travel. Everything you're out there getting from traveling the world, I'm getting it right there in the movie. Oh, I'm so, it's my favorite. It is my number one favorite food. Also, I like going with my dad to the movies. It's kind of like our thing. Cause he has to wear, have I talked about this where he has to wear the headphones? Cause he doesn't, he's hard of hearing. So he wears the headphones, but then he screams and he says, horrendous things. Like, I can't even speak them on here. He screams them so loud. I'm like, Dad! And he's like, oh, and he just starts laughing and he's laughing so loud. There was an older woman once who, she, in the middle, it was a daytime movie. We would always go to, like, random times. And she, like, went to go get a drink or a food or the bathroom or something, but she accidentally went through the exit. And so just light, like, shined in. And my dad just goes, oh! Like he just, it's just, it's so <laughs> fucking funny. funny. I love old man sounds. He's so good. And it was like him like making fun of another old person. So it's just like so funny. <gasps> Esther, I feel like you would like, have you been to look cinemas where you don't even have to leave your chair and you order? I don't no, but like that I, as much. I, we have, I pick. What? It, it's like my dream. I pick is where like someone comes, it's like, it, they have, it's a chain That's what here. she's talking about, right? Oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's like. Where someone brings you the food, right? Yeah. And it's like recliners. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I I'll like tell you why I don't like it. Why? Because I should be punished for having to refill the the bucket. And oh, I should have to miss. Shame. I should have to miss. And I also, I like having to make someone next to me tell me what I missed. It's cute. Mm, it's part of the. Oh, that is cute. It's cute. Yeah. Is really I'm like, cute. I'm like, tell me everything that I missed. Like, since I was five years old, I've been saying that to people. This conversation is getting me even more amped for the holidays because there's nothing better than going to the movies yeah, around we the would, holidays. We would always go to the movies on Christmas. We would way. do always. New Year's Eve. My, my parents and I would do New Year's Eve. Double, we'd go to PF Chang's and then go to uh, a double feature. So mm. we'd pay for one and go to two. And like, that's what we would do too. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the best memories. I want to do that this year yeah. so badly. That's so cute that a lot of Should your. Should we sneak? Into a movie. Sweet memories are with your mom and dad. It's kind of sad, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. It's so it's sweet. Best. Wait, can I? What if we? What if we go to a movie? We try to sneak into the other one, but we we pay them at the end. Sure. For the movie, so we're not bad, but we just tell them. Well, nowadays, them. nowadays, it's like assigned seating, so you can't do that anyway. Out here. Mm, that is true. But if we get kicked out, that's funny. What do you get for? Oh wait, I have a Esther thing. I, the place I threw up at the floor. <laughs> okay. The woman, go, the girl at the counter goes, and by the way, I did get in a little thing with them in the beginning where I was like trying not to pop off. I was like, I'm really trying not to pop off right now. But they charged me a thousand dollars. Like I just got it while I was sitting there, I just got a charge for a thousand dollars. I was like, what the hell's going on here? And it was just a mix up and they fixed it. But I was like, I was like, felt, I like was like trying to keep my top on the whole time. And then afterwards, I was like, sorry, I'm really trying to not pop off. It's like, I shouldn't be, like, upset by circumstances. Everything works out. Wait, no, a $1,000 charge is a I, lot of fucking insanity. money. I would freak out. I was I like, I had a 500 out. emails, talked to, like, 20 people yeah. on the phone. It was just, but Wait, it got so where do out. I come in? She goes, the one guy comes out and, like, is like, you know I know who you are. And I was like, oh, th cute. And he starts talking to me about comedians and people that go into the, com other comedians that go in there. And then... The other girls like that I almost got in the fight was like, I know you from glowing up. Oh, isn't that so cute? so cute? That's so cute. And she's working at like the NAD place. That's so on brand for glowing up. Yeah, really, a lot of beauty girlies or people that I know from the beauty space really loved that podcast. It's weirdly having like a moment on TikTok where people are talking about it. Like it's because a lot of the product, the skincare products that have trended in the last year on TikTok are all things that we mm. like were kind of the first people to talk yeah. about. So I'm I have a pitch. 
What if we had a glowing up episode? Let's. I would die to have. We Caroline could also on. even have like a little segment if we wanted to zoom her in. Sometimes I would die to have Caroline on. She yeah. would kill. Be I so miss much her. Fun. I was. That's what I was saying. I was like, I haven't seen her since glowing up. She's so good. Wait, I want to ask you, what drink do you get at the movies? Um, I okay. When I'm being bad, I get frozen Coke and cherry Coke, and I layer it, and I wait for. I just slurp all of the juice out of it, and I just I like when it's just like hard <laughs> ice at the bottom. Oh, that when I've gotten so all good. the flavor out, and then cherry Coke. I like regular cherry Coke, and then sometimes I just do water because sometimes it's just overkill. Yeah. Do you like, get candy? Right now, no, but I would definitely, if I was feeling not acid reflux, I would do like a Sour Patch Watermelon. I would do a Cherry Icy, but Dave got the weird, okay, so you know, some theaters now have those drink machines where it's like a vending, you press the buttons. Yeah. Dave was like so proud of this combo he made <laughs> and I was so gagged by it. It's half, he made half Sprite, half Grape Powerade. I'm interested. Mm. Smell, I'm interested. Mildly European. I don't know. I was like, Dave. Well, Grape Powered does not have bubbles in it, right? I was also like, Dave, you're 45. Like, <laughs> come on. This is his Christmas. He's <laughs> not going to celebrate. Let him have his. This is his Santa Claus. <laughs> but I like the idea that you can mix and match now. I know. They're giving is, us a lot of power. Maybe I'm just hating because I can't really have it. I right know. Now. I used to like, I used to really enjoy the boundary of. You can have Coke, Diet Coke, Cherry Coke. Someone else has movies. to do it for you. The boundary. You call that a boundary? Well, my only boundary growing up, dead serious, was when McDonald's sto like stopped breakfast. That was like the only time I was told no as a child. And when they started letting, I was like lost as a person when they were like, you can have it all day. So I was glad when they whipped it back. That was very confusing time. Wait, it's not all day anymore? They go back and forth. It's like Taco Bell taking away the potatoes and then bringing them back. We were talking about this earlier. Like it, yeah. I don't like. I don't like it. They but also just confused. a great marketing. It's like the McRib, right? Yeah. Wait, what do you get at the movie theater? Um, this is gonna absolutely blow your mind. If you show up to do on popcorn, I'm gonna be absolutely hate the movies. Ugh. I try not to go to the movies. I've had a lot of panic attacks at the movies, and um, I try to. I feel like Esther's kid on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I don't know what happened Let's to me <laughs> when I started to become afraid of the idea. Like, I feel claustrophobic. There is a sense of anxiety in it. But I do go. Um, and um, I am really boring. It's just water. <laughs> I only drink water. And um, I sometimes reach over for popcorn. So if we go, it's going to be great for you because I will not steal your We're popcorn. We're getting our own bucket. Yeah. I you, can, uh, you can share my bucket because I will be getting another one. You can one, have so. one yeah. paw of Annie's bucket. No, you can. I'm, listen, no, I'll be generous with the first bucket. <laughs> I, I'm not. But a, the second bucket, back the f*** up. I'm not Actually, fun. at some points I go eat some of the bucket. I, I also, like though, do want to validate you a little bit because I get claustrophobic too. And I do need to come forward and say I will only see a movie if I get the exact seat that I want, which is the very last row on the aisle what i will only sit there for any move like i will i don't want to go if i can't guys sit there. okay i just want to say one of my favorite scenes of any final destination was in a movie theater and that's not a good spot oh my god why it's hard to get out when no the, i can see when that the place exit. is collapsing i mean it's final destination i can so jump there was over like the rail ping, 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 wait and esther was, why do you like that seat because i have like a little bit of a claustrophobic thing and but control you can't recline. And, that's fine. And so I it's also, an easy escape. I also need to, if I have to oh go to the bathroom, God. I don't want to step over people. You like, guys, well, you're not step. You're the tiny, you just go under their legs. I also <laughs> need to like stretch my leg. Where do you like to sit? I like to sit like center, like right, like wherever the handicap seats are, it's usually the one above is good because it's like, they do give, I will say, I like that about the new theaters. They always give the handicapped people like the best. Mm. Special needs people the f right there. Um, and then you can put your feet on their head. Just kidding. <laughs> No, and but they can't um, do anything about it. <laughs> what are they gonna come get me? Um, I know it's all cocky to put your feet up next to them. Like, look what I can do. Yeah, I don't mind the going by people. Again, it's like I want to have to suffer to get the popcorn. Mm. I don't want it to be too easy. But I like the big cushy, like reli re like reclining ones. Now are really cool. I will say, I went to a movie. I went and saw Ninja Turtles with my my nephews and I was so pissed because I love to talk during I like I mystery you were science say by theater. yourself because I'm like Annie. no it was horrible it was sorry Seth uh Rogan but my nephew was like I loved because I I like to mystery science theater and just like talk the entire time it's like fun to go with comics if we're like making jokes but my nephew was like like he was watching he was like and I was like <laughs> trying to poke him and be like hey damn and he was just like <laughs> 
I was like, oh my God, the Ninja Turtle stole my nephew. Huh. But yes. yeah, no, I think it would be funny if we went to the movie theaters together and we each sat in different, Our own, completely yeah. different areas. <laughs> It's that's where all the know. kids are fingering themselves up there. Or fingering each other. I think that's Great. why that's I don't better. like movie theaters. Because you got fingered there? Um, yeah. So, <laughs> okay. um, when I was... <laughs> we haven't had one of these stories in a while. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Must be Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for reminding me of why perhaps I get scared in movie theaters. Um, I was 12 years old. I was dating a boy who was a lot older than me. I don't know how we were allowed 40? to hang with each other. Oh, they boy. thought you were his, his um, dad. But this is the first time that he tried to both kiss me and I it was um, I wasn't ready for it. And then I think he tried, I didn't think, he tried to finger me and oh. I, the movie was called The Relic. Is this um, and I, I, it was some horrible movie. I hardly remember. I just know it was called The Relic. I think I liked The Relic. And I just got finger blasted without wanting it. Cool. Okay, first of all, I'm very sorry. So that's why I drink happens. water and only water. Hopefully you had a little butter on that popcorn. <laughs> is this The Relic? That's The Relic. Yes. Oh my God. Is oh my that what it looks like afterwards? Sorry. I did. That's exactly how my young look very like. Difficult. I think I like The Relic. I'm very sorry. Thank you, And Esther. maybe we could recreate a happy memory. With well, both of you fingering you me? When you like it, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, will you guys both finger me so that memory is erased? Yes. We'll put we'll put a hole in the popcorn and we'll somehow have it go through. Because you know the... Yeah, then yeah. I'm in for every movie <laughs> you guys want to watch. <laughs> well, Feliz Navidad to both of you. And to you. Thank you. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Proud of you. Excited. <gasps> this, is ex this is your last childless. Well, I guess you're childful already, but last child in your arms. Hopefully. Christmas. If it all goes well. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm really excited. And I hope everyone, all the slugs, have a really fun Christmas comment. Let us know what you guys are up to. Do you open presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? What are you doing for Hanukkah? Whatever it is that you celebrate. Or don't celebrate. Also, yeah. If you're like Dave. Yeah. I have a, a suggestion for comments below. I, I've noticed that we have a lot of pregnant slugs. Oh. Can you guys write what you're going to do with your kids with Santa Claus? I think yes, that's a I great know. idea. Yeah. In the comments. Yes. And the slug pop papas. And also, quick pregnancy update. This past, so I'm like 24. Three, 24 weeks right now and this past week was like the first week it's gotten really consistent where I can feel movement Aww. which has been a game changer like update for the pregnant fellow preggies out there because before that you just like don't know if it's a still thing. there like you don't feel connected because to Whitney told you it was food too so that got in your head <laughs> maybe you don't feel as connected to the pregnancy yet now I like now I feel more now connected you do, yeah. and also now it's just like good reassurance like everything's working as it should mm. um so that's been like a really fun Is there a kicking or movement? I don't know cuz it's it's not like bam but it is also like pop so it just feels like something is in your body and it's popping now or moving or it's that's so, it's so cool. cool. It's so weird but it's I'm finding it to be like I'm like cuz I'm really trying to point out the positive experiences of this time and so I'm like okay that's like something I look forward to every night is like laying down and kind of feeling that because they come out they come out at night um. Esther are you <laughs> noticing that people are like specifically men I always ask pregnant women this treating you differently like no because I'm not going out in the world looking pregnant like I wear baggy clothes okay. and stuff so but I'm excited for that yeah I know my friend she's going the full part. teen mom yeah <laughs> hiding it mom. yeah, yeah. Anyways, slugs, Merry Christmas. We hope you guys have a great holiday season and we'll see you next week with a brand new episode. Yes, you guys. We love you. Grateful for you. Bye.